Hi traders, I'm going to start today with KR because it's down 10% and that should be my main candidate. Now, first move is down, which is not very encouraging because I need to see it moving up and only then look for a reversal and possibly short it. Now, stock's down 10%, so it's very, very likely to gap and go. But I'm looking to see the buyers moving out of the game and look at it moving up right now. It looks great. I could start planning my trade now in KR if it's going to reverse. I'm not sure it's going to reverse, but if it's going to reverse, I'm going to be all over it. It's my main candidate today, and I need to do some money in KR today. So I could start planning it. If it's going to stop here and come down, I guess the entry point should be somewhere around here, 2870. It's moving up, good. The more it moves higher, well, not the more, uh, there's a limit. I would love to see it stopping here, and it did. Good, great. I'm going to short it at around 2870. That should be the point of no return. It's coming down. Good. I'm getting ready for a short 4,000 shares. We're getting close. Now, click the button. Short at 28.70 exactly. JD is up 3.3%. Now, it gapped up. It has a very nice reversal point here. I'm planning to go long over 28.60. The highs is 28.62, so I'm trying to buy it just before it moves over the highs. You want to plan it before it moves over the highs. You want to anticipate the highs. Here we go. Close now. Now, got it at 28.61. The highs is 62. I expect it to move over the highs. You always want to buy it at the point where you expect it to move over. JD did move over the highs, but not much, just a few cents. And that's a miserable failure. I'm getting ready to lower my size by 2,000 shares. I'm going to take a small loss if it moves under 28.50. Watching the buyers here. Watching the buyers. It's going to move now. Well, if stock not going your way, you should lower your size. I just lowered mine at a very small loss, relatively very small loss, just 12 cents or so. But it's not doing good. I should have my stop at 47 if it comes down. I have a hard stop at 28.47 and sadly it's getting close. Now, I'm out. Out of JD, my first trade today and I am down $520. KR is just, just moving out of this consolidation area which looks great. I'm going to add to my short. Looks great. Shorting now another 2,000 shares. I'm short 6,000. KR is moving well. I love the fact that it's getting close to the lows, and I think we have a shot at breaking down under the lows really soon. So I want to add another 2,000 shares just above the lows, which is now. Adding another 2,000. The loss is at 44, and I expect it to come down under 28.44. Didn't yet, but again, you always short or long at the point where you anticipate a break up or a break down. In this case, a break down under the lows. So I added, I'm short 8,000 shares, anticipating a new low at 28.44. And one of the reasons I do that is because I watch the number of sellers and look at the number growing all the time. Care did well. Great. But I am concerned. Look at this red candle here. That's a reversal candle. So I'm getting ready to take my partial at any pullback now. I'm going to use a very tight stop now, just a few cents. If it's going to move up like two or three cents, I'm going to take my partial. And that's all of because of this red candle. Red candles, red extended candles like that means only one thing. A lot of sellers sold. That means no more sellers. Usually people think it's the opposite. It's not. It's a reversal. Look at the sellers here at 31 now. If it's going to bounce, like now, 32, a few more cents now. The reversal did come. Look at the reversal. Look at the number of sellers. Look at the price moving up now. Big candles mean reversal. I want to get back to this one more time here because I think that's an important lesson. And if anything you should take from this video is probably this. Look at this high volume bar. This bar, as I mentioned earlier, means reversal. I was shorting the stock. 
stock did reach my target and that means I should be looking for a partial and when I see a large candle like that that means reversal again most of the sellers are moving out of the game and probably it's going to reverse and indeed look at what it does now PVTL is coming down to the 2350 point and it did come down several times we've been watching it in the trading room for the past I don't know 15 minutes these are five minute candles here and it's touching and going all the time now the number of buyers and sellers here, sellers here is almost the same as you can see now so there's no big war in between the buyers and sellers uh, they're approximately the same size you see the buyers just moved up two cents to 52 now a lot of buyers at 51 I don't see a lot of sellers but at the point where I'm going to see a lot of sellers that's the point where I want to short it now the stock is hanging on the 2350 mark which is a very important point because this is this is semi whole number as we call it uh, that means a lot of buyers are usually lining up at semi whole numbers more at whole numbers but some at semi whole numbers now look at the sellers now they're growing number of sellers are growing there's still several buyers out there but I just saw the number of sellers growing look at the number of sellers here at 51 dramatic change look at the number of buyers there's still three different buyers two different buyers at the point I'm going to see one I'm going to short it because I want to short it at 0.5 I don't want to short it below because it's going to crash under 0.5 and I will not have the chance to short it when it comes down under 0.5 look at the number of sellers two buyers two different buyers at 0.50 it could be more but now just one venue now short at 23.50 you only saw one line of buyers here and look at the number of sellers and here comes the breakdown that is exactly what I was looking for okay come to puppy now a little bit more here we go now took my partial what an amazing trade I didn't do it with large size but that was a lovely lovely trade I just asked my trading room member to tell me how they're doing and I need to know we all trade together thousands of us every day some of them at my free YouTube channel but this room has an advantage no latency now look at the numbers here this is how much people are making in 50 minutes 2103 grand down not all of them are making money some of them are losing but look at the vast majority the vast majorities are up Bert is up $2,900 look at the numbers here There's some people up $2,200 that that all happened in 50 minutes Jess is up $8,400 all of my trades are called live in the trading room they're all posted here I'm talking about them I'm explaining just like I do here and these people who are trading live with me they can mirror my trade they can do exactly the same that I do they don't always do the same they have their own trade their own picks but we're having fun we're trading together and you can join us for a free 14 day trial if you just click here so join us trade with us and that's how I'm doing today I'm I'm holding Tesla for a few days back up five grand but uh, PVTL was a winner today four hundred dollars KR a nice winner fifteen hundred dollar a loser in JD so I'm up fourteen hundred dollars I'm really having fun joining my day Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.